So emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping, is a really powerful method of healing that not only that you can use on your own in your day-to-day -day life to help clear emotions, but it's something that as a practitioner, I also tell people to make sure that they're using a practitioner when one is needed. So how do you know that you should be working with a practitioner? Well, perhaps you've been tapping on something for a long time. You've been tapping on a relationship. You've been tapping on a craving or an addiction, and it's not moving. It's not going away. It's not changing. That's a good time to make sure that you see an emotional freedom techniques practitioner who can help you through that. Another time is if there's something that's unsafe in your past or in your history. Perhaps you're afraid that you're going to uncover something in your childhood. Perhaps there's something that doesn't feel safe to tap on by yourself. Or every time you think about it, you get emotionally overwhelmed. Those are also good times to work with an emotional freedom techniques practitioner. And if something is creating issues basically throughout your whole life, right? You're having something that's impacting your job performance. You're having something that's impacting all your relationships. You're having something that's impacting your home life whether that be an addiction, whether that be um, emo uh, anger, fear, some kind of, I don't want to say ADHD kind of behaviors, right? But kind of these um, compulsive behaviors where you're doing things over and over and over again to avoid or to run towards. Those are good times to see emotional freedom, pra emotional freedom techniques practitioners as well. Another time that you would want to see a practitioner is when you are looking at something deep in childhood that perhaps you're not really clear on where it came from. Like you're like, well, I know, like, for example, for me, one of the things that I kept running into is this idea that I wasn't doing enough. I wasn't doing enough. I have to do more. Nothing's good enough, right? It almost led to this level of perfectionism. Although if you looked at my office, you would see by no means my clean freak of any type. But I felt like everything had to be done in a certain way. And working with my EFT practitioner, what I realized is it came from something that was actually very, very supportive in my life, which was my dad saying, hey, you did a really, really amazing job. And then he'd give me a couple suggestions on how to do it better, right? So this beautiful thing that he was offering and this really strong support that he was offering, actually somehow in my head, when I was younger, set in my brain is like, you did well, but not good enough. So I can help you as an EFT practitioner trace these things back so when you're like, I don't know, why I'm super compulsive, why I have to do this all the time, why I'm afraid to make these phone calls, why I'm destructive, self-destructive in relationships, why I keep picking the wrong people, why I can't trust, why I'm over-trusting. Right? Anything where you feel like it's not in balance or you're not really taking charge of the situation in a way that's really balanced and grounded in your body, I can help you as an EFT practitioner to suss out what is the root of that? Where is that coming from? And I can help you clear that so you can live your most authentic and aligned and in your body kind of life.